there and good afternoon to you it's a bank holiday Monday here in the UK uh, which means a lot of people are not working I know quite a lot of the shops are still open um, but for us effectively it's a public bank holiday however um, we are here today because I had coffee and card this morning hi to you Scylla so I thought I'd give you an update with our coffee and card from last week. A little sneak peek as to what we're doing at coffee and card this week. And also a look at some of the brand new papers coming out in our new catalogue. So I thought I'd share those with you. Um, I'll just give it a minute or two. Hi Scylla, I hope you're keeping really well. And look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Um, so, this looks a bit of a mess here, but hopefully it's fairly clear um, when we come to start crafting. I tend to have everything sort of gathered around the table, which doesn't always work, but hey ho So, this is the stamp set that we used for coffee and cards. So I'm just going to leave that there for a minute and um, just wait for the system to... Uh, get broadcasting, get up and running, um, and then we will crack on. So I had a few days away last week, and um, I think I'm still playing catch up, but it was nice to have a bit of a break um, over in Ireland. First time I've been to Ireland, and, um, well, first time I've been there to have a look round, I should say, and it was really nice, really enjoyed it, and the weather was glorious, which definitely helped, definitely helped. Hi to you Lynn, I can see that Lynn's just joined us, so thank you for that. I hope you're not working today. <laughs> That's the only thing these days, isn't it, is um, people work, well especially people in hospitals and things like that. Bank holiday doesn't make a great deal of difference, does it? Anyway, let me get cracking and um, I can then save this video and leave it live uh, to be replayed on my Facebook page on a train. Oh, well done, Lynn. Um, and then I will upload it to YouTube. I didn't don't think I did the one from last week, so I must do that. Anyway, let me show you what we were making. So a coffee and car, we were using this stamp set called Beauty Abounds. We're just using the set on its own, but it does have some stunning dies to go with it with huge butterflies. Um, but for our purposes, this is just what I wanted to do, was just use this single stamp set. Let me show you some of the cards, and we'll recreate two of these. So this one, as you can see here, I've stamped this sort of garland spray, if you like, on either side. Added some little butterflies and a bigger butterfly. So in the set itself, as you can see, hopefully from there, you have this spray here two butterflies and then you have these sets of dots here these bokeh dots uh, which are all the work is done in the stamp so where it's got darker and lighter that's all done for you we had this very useful little spatter um, perfect for covering up any inky finger marks or anything else that you might have and then it has a set of sentiments it's got two pairs of sentiments one says our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. Oh, sorry, it's gone out of focus. There we go, let's try that. And then the other one says a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. And then it has thanks, hello and for you. So very versatile, smaller stamps and then quite nice friendship sentiments so on this one here i've used that um, garland on either side i've used the butterflies and i actually picked out a different sentiment here this is from everything is rosy which is the um set that you can get uh only to the end of may which has some stunning papers stamps dies ribbon the whole bundle and I've used, may your birthday be filled with pretty things. The 
garland was stamped in memento and I've used blends pens to colour that in so that's the first one there and this is melon mambo backing colour wise this one here then um, it's very similar but I've just used a single swirl going across the page and three butterflies again and I've just put in a little thank you and that thank you is also from the same set you can see the style of that from the other set here we've used the spray on the left hand side and we've used the bokeh dots there on the right hand side and the colours of those are pineapple punch which is that nice um, pale and bright yellow sort of mixed in and then pear pizzazz and I've used pear pizzazz and pineapple punch blends on the flowers themselves and then also um, I've actually matched it with a garden green backing so I thought that looked nicer just sort of standing out from there and the lovely Lynn has just joined us, Lynn Fay. So nice to see you, Lynn. So that was our third one. On a similar note, I've got this one here. Hiya, yeah, Lynn. And this is Pear Bazaar's backing. So very similar, but instead of using the dots here, I've used that tiny little um, sort of burst, um, tiny sort of, can't think of the word really sort of um, spatter effect for want of a better description um, to go around it I've coloured the butterflies there in pineapple punch again and I've just used the for you sentiment on that one and this one um, I've instead of using the memento I've used granite grey to stamp that flower swirl in so you get a very subtle effect and I've used Daffodil Delight and actually I think it's maybe So Saffron and Daffodil Delight backing um, just a very soft monochrome um, sort of two-tone look I should say and then I've used those spatters again also with So Saffron so just a soft look really for that one and I put the thanks there on a, another layer. And then very similar to ones that we did actually the other day. But using just the bokeh dots on their own. I've just used two colours. So I've used Melon Mambo and Grey Granite. And I've used the larger and the smaller dots. So you have this one here. Which is the larger one. Hi to you Zoe. And this one here which is the smaller set, if you can see that. So although when you look at the stamp, it doesn't look like there's a much detail on it, all the detail work is done for you. Um, so that's that one there, and I just put a little thank you in the centre, and I've actually put that onto a berry burst background. And then this one here, this one that I did this morning, which was using gorgeous great for the sentiment in the centre Highland Heather and Pear Pizzazz actually for the um, dots themselves this thank you is from Petite Petals which is actually going out from the catalogue at the end of May well it's actually 3rd of June so I do like the sentiments from that, so that's been a really useful one. So I shall definitely miss that, because I nearly always take that set to coffee and card. Because it's got thank you, best wishes, a congratulations, a bit of everything really. So those are the cards that we made at coffee and card. You'll see that they're all basic in terms of layers. And that's because when I do coffee and card, I don't know how many people are going to turn up. So I don't prepare lots of layered cards. Um, so what I do is I use our note cards and envelopes, which are this size here, usually. So this is three and a half inches by five inches. And then I just have a stack of coloured layers and I just keep that topped up. So I have a box of those in assorted colours and I keep that topped up. So when we go, people can choose different backgrounds. Um, and then just a layer of Whisper White card on the top. And that layer is three inches by four and a half. 
so it does make the card go a long way because you can get five panels out of one A4 card whether it's the coloured panels or whether it's the Whisper White so it's um, good in terms of you know getting plenty for your money and it does mean that I can take pl plenty with me to coffee and card rather than trying to work out how many card layers I need for various people so let me show you how we did those although they are fairly straightforward so I'm sure you'll be able to work it out but let me just talk you through that so this is the set we're going to use uh, we'll do the bokeh dot one first because that's nice and straightforward well the other one's fairly straightforward anyway and the here's my envelope here's my note card so you can buy these as a pack of 20 cards and 20 envelopes for six pounds and then I've chosen in this case a gorgeous grape backing and then here's my piece of whisper white that I'm going to do my stamp on just put those out of the way for the moment so I've got my two sets of dots and this time round I'm just going to go a bit brighter and I'm going to go granny apple green and highland heather so here are my two colours there. I'm hoping it's not going to keep focusing too much. So um, it doesn't really matter which way round. I'm going to do the Highland Heather in the larger set of dots. As you say, if you look at that, it doesn't look like there's a lot of detail on it. But this is a distinctive stamp, so it does all the work for you. This time, I'm actually going to go um, across the my page so what I'm doing is I'm just rotating the stamp and you can see how that level is being um, the different heights and the different colors different depths of color are coming out automatically so that's the stamp doing the work not me okay so I've got that going along there looks like bubbles doesn't it from a um, I don't know, from a glass or something. Perhaps that would work with the bubble over stamp set. That's also retiring, sadly. So here I've got the granny apple green and I'm just going to lay that over. Obviously my granny apple green here needs a bit of re-inking because <laughs> you can hardly see it. I'm sorry about that. Just turn that round there. So I'm just overlaying it a little bit. Put one there and one up there. So I hope you can see that. So I do apologise that Granny Apple Green is rather pale. So that's one I need to re-ink. That's the good thing about our ink pads is that we can um, re-ink them. And the lovely Sarah has joined us. So I saw Sarah on Friday. So that was lovely to see you. So here we've got the dots going across the page so now I'm going to add my sentiment I'm going to use the thank you from um, Petite Petal Palette I should say let me just put this one away and this one I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape because I want it to really stand out against the others so here's my Gorgeous Grape love this colour so I'm just going to take thank you Hi Tracy, so Tracy and Sarah, welcome. I'm just going to stamp this off just to see um, how the ink's looking, to make sure I've got it roughly straight on my um, block. Just going to put that literally in the middle, like that. Like so. So I've got, there's my thank you on there. Let's close this one up. And I'm going to pop that onto my gorgeous grape backing, like so. And that is going to go onto my notes card. I shall do that in a second. And I'm just going to add some detail to the envelope. So I'm going to use those same dots again. So Highland Heather. And I'm just going to run these just in the left hand side 
one there, one there, and one there. Okay, actually you might just leave it like that because that green was so pale you could hardly see it. And I'm just going to do a little bit of that detail, I think, on the back of the envelope. So it's just quite nice to have something on the envelope for people to see that it's hand stamped and there's something interesting inside. Makes a change from bills and things like that. So there's the envelope on the back. There's the front. And I'll just put these layers together with some snail. So I'm just going to turn that over. Always put the glue on the smaller of the pieces that you're working with. So you don't have any... Um, glue sticking out anywhere so that's plenty of snail oops gonna pop that onto there so my hint for getting it nice and straight assuming you've cut it straight in the first place is to put my finger or my thumb underneath it get it into position before I then push it down rather than try and do both hands together can do the same with that one. Lovely to see you, Tracy and Sarah. Just going to open this out to make it easier to put it on so I can see where the layer is going to go. Pop that on there like that. And that is an extra thank you card. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the other one, and this time I'm going to use this pretty border here, this one. And I've chosen one of the brand new in colours. So each year we have five new in colours that arrive in our collection. They last for two years and that's on a rolling basis. So every year five colours go out and then we get five new ones in. This is one of the new ones and it's called Seaside Spray. It's a very soft blue compared to balmy blue. Now this is a balmy blue. Oh, it's not, sorry. I thought it was. Um, I think I've got a balmy blue pen or anything to show you. I don't know, that's both Night of Navy. Okay, so it's just a, a softer blue. It's almost, um, it's got almost got a hint of um, pink in it. I don't know, it's just a very different blue. I really like it. Um, it's a bit like the very pale blue that we used to have. It's funny how you forget the name so quickly, isn't it? Soft Sky, that's it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use this one here and the grey granite. And all I'm going to do is just ink that up. Okay, so lots of light tapping. Just have a look at it to make sure it's nice and shiny so that you know it's got ink all the way over. And this time I'm just going to put these across the corners. So almost just to um, work as a border. These will make nice little note cards, even just like that. And it includes all this little detail, like these little dots and everything as well, which I really like. So that's our border using this stamp. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment and then fill in the other gaps. So my sentiment is going to be... Our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. So I'm going to get ink that one up, I'm going to pop this one up, top left hand side, like so, and then my other one on the right hand side. I hope you can see that from the, um, got a bit of a shadow here on my right hand side. Okay, there we go. So it says, our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. And then I'm going to add in some butterflies and a little bit of background with this splatter with the seaside spray. 
I can get it open. I only opened it literally this morning. There we go. So I'm going to add this in just around the edges. Like so. I may add a little bit more in in a minute. I'm going to put my butterflies in and then the side. So there are two butterflies in the stamp set. There's this tiny little one and this slightly bigger one here. So I'm going to start with the larger one. Just ink it up. Put one on there. So nice even pressure like that. Just take that one off for the minute. And let's put a little one here. Like so, and maybe another one hmm. <laughs> up here, I think. Hi, Anne, nice to see you. There we are. So we've got our sentiment going across ways. We've got these two little ones here as borders, and then that. And I can just use maybe the little bokeh dots. Just to add a bit of extra highlight. It's a bit green there because I didn't clean it off very well. Hey ho. There we are. I'm happy with that. So this one again I'm going to layer onto my seaside spray backing. And again, I'm just going to use snail, just making sure I go fairly well up to the edges, like so. And again, just hover it on top, keep my finger underneath so it doesn't make too much contact with the card. And then let it go, like so. And that's going to go onto our note card. And then I will decorate the envelope. Let me just put this out of the way. So we don't cover it in ink before I've started. There we go. And again, just sit that on there. Now one of the new sets of embellishments we've got are these faceted dots in our new in colour. So you can see here, these are the new in colours. I know you can't see them in detail because... Um, of the light really but I'm just going to use some of these ones here and I'm just going to use the tip of my scissors and add three of these so you get six each of three sizes I can't pick it up um, have one there one there And one there, I think. There we go. So very delicate, hopefully, and completely different. I'm looking at that ink pad there a bit close. Uh, quite different from the other ones that we did, so that's quite subtle. And I will just add, I think, some butterflies to this envelope. Swap out these dots here. Bring my seaside spray back in and put perhaps butterfly there and one here and then the little ones just to make it nice and even so we've got three there like that one two Three, like so. There we have it. So there's our finished envelope and our finished card. So this one's much more subtle, I say, than the ones we did earlier on. I'll just flip back through those. This is the one I did with the 
dots this this afternoon and I've lost all my other cards here they are so this is the one with the vocal dots but with melon mambo this is the one with the single strand up on the left hand side this one strand and butterflies and a little thank you do you see how versatile even this set is one on either side so I've turned the stamp round on either side for that and just single matching set of colours there and this one here and any one of these obviously I could have added some embellishments and things if I wanted to so those are the um, coffee and card designs that we made last week and today I'll give you a little look as to what we're making tomorrow Thursday and next week I move these out of the way and that's using a fun set called Over the Moon. And these are really cute. I had great fun with these. Um, so this one says, how's it going? I know the puns are really bad, aren't they? But I thought it was good fun. The um, background is actually stamped using Love What You Do, another stamp set. And these are actually um, infills for flowers. I saw another demonstrator, and I'm really sorry I can't remember who it was, had come up with this idea of doing a cow hide sort of background. Um, so this one is done in soft suede. This is another of the cows. <laughs> that says, party till the cows come home. So that's good fun. And I've done this one in basic grey. And in both of the cases, I've used our stitched shapes framelits to get that pretty stitching around and then the last one here just using our mini note cards and envelopes and they're also finishing with this catalogue on the 3rd of June um, it's quite a nice little size for a little thank you or it would hold a, a credit card type gift voucher like so and that one says thank you and it's got a cute little cow with a, a little daisy so those are the ones that we're doing at Coffee and Card this week. Um, so that will be Wednesday morning, that's not tomorrow, Wednesday morning 10 till 11, Thursday afternoon 3 till 4 and then the following Monday 9.30 till 10.30. If you're interested in joining any of our Coffee and Card sessions just message me um, and I can give you full details. I'm best in... Brackley, Northamptonshire in the UK, but there are lots of other coffee and card sessions going on around the UK and indeed worldwide. So um, contact your local demonstrator if you're not local to me. So those are the cards. The other things I wanted to show you are, <laughs> thank you, the cows are so cute. They really are cute. Um, I would like to show you the papers that or some of the papers that are in our new catalogue so let me just move these out of the way yeah they're sweet aren't they get these out of the way so we've got a bit more space so one of the things I do when we have a new catalogue is I do a paper share and this is um, a cost effective way of getting all of the papers from the new catalogue but without having to buy a complete sheet, a complete sheet, a complete pack of every single one. So each pack is normally ten seventy five or thirteen pounds, depending on whether it's a specialty paper. Um, but there's obviously quite a lot of those sets available in a new catalogue. So what I've done is that I've taken the twelve standard and specialty paper packs. So it's 12 all together. I know you can only see um, seven in the photographs here, but A, I've only got seven sets that I could photograph at the minute, and B, I can't fit 12 on the page, I'm not, unless I make the pictures really small. So basically, in the pack you'll get, if you order it from me, you'll get 144 sheets all together. You get two of all of the designs and that's £34 if you're able to collect from me either at a class or coffee and card or locally 
if you want that complete set posted it's just three pounds regardless of how many packs you order so if you wanted to order one or two packs you'd still only pay three pounds postage and these are the names of the designs i'm not going to just list them all out for you because they won't mean anything until you see the new catalogue so this is our new catalogue I can't show you the inside yet, I'm really sorry, um, but this starts on the 4th of June. If you're not on my emailing list or if you haven't received one yet, most of mine are in the process of going out, either at coffee and card at classes or in the post. If you haven't got one yet and you would like one and you're in the UK, then just give me a shout, send me a message and I'll pop one in the post for you. So let me just show you some of these lovely papers. As I say, I haven't got all of them because we're only allowed to pre-order some of them. I have put the names on these ones here for my purposes, but if you buy the pack, you won't get this label on, obviously, because you want to be able to use all the paper. So this is Bird Ballad, and obviously these match various sweets that are available. So I'm just going to flick through these um, all together. One, two the feathers three these beautiful flowers I've seen people cutting these up these lovely birds and the way this was created was the they the designer drew them in black and white and then she used our own blends pens like these these coloring pens to color them in and then they use that digital copy of that to create the papers they really are stunning for somebody who's no good at coloring in this is perfect because you sh shows you how to color them in and these are the rest of the birds so there's six pages there and I'm just going to turn over so you can see the other sides so you've got this beautiful blossom some little birds feet bird cages Hi Scott, lovely to see you. Some keys, pink dots and some, you can't see the paper. Is that better Anne? Let me know if you can see that any better. I'll just turn these over again. So these are new papers, this is the bird ballad. Can anybody else see the papers? I can see them through my camera here on my phone, just wondering what you can see then. Can anyone else see the papers? Oh, still I can. Jolly good. Excellent. It may be, maybe it's you, Anne. <laughs> maybe it is. <laughs> okay, so this is Bird Ballad, so that's that set there. So you get 12 of those. I've only just narrowed it down to six, so I don't bore you all together. This uh, next set is called Perennial Essence, and you can see, you'll be able to see in a minute, it's inspired by Monet. So we've got this beautiful colour, I mean that would make a stunning background for a, um, you know, a magic type card. And leaves and things, these beautiful lilies and roses, water lilies. This one here, looks like poppies to me. And this one, and if I just turn those over... There's another one. So they really are beautiful designs. This one that could be obviously grass or anything. That could be a sky. Some more pretty daisies. And another sort of night sky almost. So that is um, Perennial Essence. And that has some lovely matching stamps. This one is one of the specialty papers, and it's specialty because it has a glossy finish. So I'm hoping you may, might be able to see that. 
So this is called Mosaic Mood. Okay, so there's one with roses on. Obviously a nice mosaic but um, plain um, stripe pattern. Oh, hi Jennifer. That's lovely to see you. Haven't seen you for ages. This one here, this paper has got that gloss on it again, as you can see. This one with hummingbirds. This one with the sort of tiled pattern. And again, I don't know if you can see that in the light. It's got gloss on it. And then more hummingbirds and gloss there. If I turn these over, these are the backs. So you've got little pretty flowers, flowers in a more formal pattern, roses and butterflies but without the glossy. This is a tile effect. I can't help but think of swimming pools or Roman baths when I see that. And yellow and some plain mosaic. So that is called mosaic mood what's that one there so all of these papers actually come um, when they come from stamping up they come as 12 by 12 inches so obviously four times this size and I cut them down yes we must Jen must I cut them down to six by six because um, I find that I'm more likely to use them at six by six because I can either cut it in half and use them on two note cards hi to you Monica or I can cut it um, in quarters and use it on three smaller cards or just use one larger piece and have a small strip. So that's Mosaic Mood. This one is called Follow Your Art and this has a matching stamp set with artistic items on it. So we've got stitching on this side, uh, fun little paper clips and stationery. Bulldog clips, uh, ribbons and sewing and bows and buttons and thread on that one. Um, glue guns and, well this could be anything, could be glitter, couldn't it? Little buttons, so this is really cute. Pens and then um, pens, in a, uh, pens and spat um, spatulas, trying to think what they are called. Hmm. It comes to me in a minute. So paintbrushes, pens and things like that with a blue background. Oh, hi to you, Baz. And if I do the reverse of that, we've got little sort of confetti. This pretty green sort of squishy background. Scissors. Perfect for people who um, are sewing or like decoupage, of course. Some yellow in the stripe, some brush strokes, and some sort of scribbles, almost like pen marks and things like that. So that is Follow Your Art. And then we have Garden Lane. So if you like green, this is the set for you. If you don't like green, it might not be, but I think these are stunning. So um, these are all very natural colours and designs, lots of different greens, so they go with almost anything as a background. So it's called Garden Lane. So we have this one here. We have the um, sort of slightly more out of, out of focus but great background with the darker mossy meadow behind. A lighter version of that with white behind. This one with the little leaves with a white background. Similar sort of thing with the leaves but with a darker background. And then this really pretty one here. This reminds me of um, some curtain material I made curtains out of many years ago. And then on the reverse of those we've got more of a mosaic design. So more symmetrical designs really. But I'm loving the choice of greens. This one here, this one, more mosaics, and then this one here. So that one is called 
garden lane and I've just got two more to go so one lot is the um, set of male designer papers called Come Sail Away and this matches stamp set which has obviously yachts and sailing, compasses, that sort of thing great travel set, great man set as well but the papers work equally well just on their own so we've got this one here with um, leaves and things like that but that could easily be seaweed and things I'll turn the other side over in a minute compasses in different styles, different types of compasses gyroscopes this one here, very pale but with the lighthouses the beautiful yachts more compasses and the ropes knotted so that's on one side and then on the other we've got maps here sort of vintage type maps stripes more stripes can't go wrong with those especially navy blue and white thin stripes in that new blue a sort of mix of stripes there and then sort of old newspaper cuttings vintage looking again all to do with boating and things like that sailing I should say not boating so that set is called come sail away and then finally uh, this stunning set called Magnolia Lane so this has matching stamps and dies as do all of the other ones actually um, and this features obviously the Magnolia plant so here's the first one with magnolias on a white background similar ones but on a dark background smaller magnolia buds these ones here on a dark background and the dies for the stamp set actually cut out these individual flowers I think it was um, Kate Bolt that showed um, on our local demo group um, that they cut those out so you don't even need to cut them out with scissors if you don't want to or you can keep them as a background this one here tiny little one with magnolia flowers and this one here with the magnolia flowers facing up on mossy meadow and then the reverse of these just to show you are stripes all over flower pattern Another all over flower pattern, very similar to one that we had hmm, maybe last year. Petal pink stripes, mossy meadow stripes, and then the same as, the, as this other one, or very similar to this one. Ah, oh, just the same, but with um, early espresso by the looks of things. So those are just some of the new papers and as I said what I, what I do is a paper share so you get a quarter of a pack of all of the papers. I've listed all 12 sets of paper here and these photographs here are from the ones that I've shown you today because that's all I've got in stock to show you. But you can order these so the paper share is £34 and that includes 144 sheets, so that's 72 sheets, but you get two of everything of this this size, 6 by 6 inches. If you want to join that, um, there's there'll be details up on my blog as soon as the catalogue goes live next week. But you can message me and ask me for my sheet, which I can send you. And you just need to um, make your payment beforehand. And then once I've got four lots together, I send the order off and then come back and I cut them all up for you and put them into little paper, um, little cellophane bags and I whiz them off to you. So that's option there for you if you want it, £34 and you get, as I say, 144 sheets. The nice thing about that is you get a bit of everything and then if you like obviously a particular one, you can then purchase that in a larger quantity if you wish. So that's from the new catalogue. This is it here. If you'd like a copy of that, then give me a shout. Um, with that catalogue, 
you get my just my introduction really that tells you a little bit about me it tells you about my personal topics in the catalogue some of the highlights for example there are 29 discounted bundles where you get 10% discount for buying it as a bundle you get wish list here that you can tick off as you order things tells you a little bit about our joining offer if you ever want to join stamping up and buy products at a discount and then on the reverse it tells you about my classes and it has a current class list um, which for this one is current up till August and then finally one thing that I do do when I have a new catalogue especially the annual catalogue is a buy one get one free sale and I'll be running that on Saturday the 8th of June if anybody would like to join me it's free to attend it's at Evenly Village Hall which is literally just up the road from Brackley just off the A43 and basically what that allows you to do is buy any of my retired stamp sets products, dies, ink pads, any of those and you can order the equivalent amount from the new catalogue absolutely free so if you chose two stamp sets for example that were £20 each um, then you can take those away with you at £40 and give me an order for £40 of product from the catalogue and you only just pay that one amount what that does is it helps me clear some of my old retired stock and believe you me I still have a lot so there'll be lots of things in there that you may have seen lots of current things that are finishing next week and some older ones as well so if you want to join me from that that's Saturday the 8th of June everybody is welcome to come um, just send me a message or comment on this video if you want more information for that information will go out to all my email um, lists so if you're already on my mailing list you'll get details about that details of the catalogue um, in the next couple of days so I think that just about wraps it up for me I'll show you again what we're doing on Wednesday of this week we're doing these fun cow cards I thought actually as it was half term there may be children coming this week and I thought the children would would quite like to have a bit of fun with the with the animals so thanks so much for watching i look forward to catching up with you soon and i appreciate you taking the time out today thanks very much indeed bye